Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is May 11, 2023, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of today, NASDAQ looking to break out higher. But first, the major economic events scheduled for today. So at 1 p.m. South African time, out of Great Britain, we have an official bank rate decision, which is an interest rate decision, and could be very effective to the GBP. And then at 2.30 South African time, out of the United States, a core PPI number coming out. So looking at the markets, realizing that these numbers are coming out, most of the forex symbols are unchanged. The question is whether or not this push in the official bank rate will push the GBP higher. It's been flirting with that resistance ish level. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones unchanged and the commodities, both gold and oil, are unchanged. But looking at stocks, Google is taking it higher. And the question is, will it carry the markets higher as well? Lastly, looking at Bitcoin testing support and breaking that 27,000. So let's take a look at this markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're going to start with the GBP because that's the major item of the day, especially with this official bank rate decision coming out. Now, we've been flirting. We're looking at a daily chart. We've been flirting in the past couple of days, few days, with this upper limit of 126.18. And the question is whether or not we'll get that push later today to take us up higher. Now, you got to know your levels. We are at resistance and we've been at resistance for quite some time. This is major resistance in multi levels okay when you hit multi level resistance that becomes that much more important and the likelihood of it breaking is that much less however when it does break it's really historic okay so if we do break above this 126 30 ish level we could go up to 128 129 and that'd be a huge recovery for the gbp versus the us dollar okay so just keep that in mind now looking at the other majors nothing doing your euro usd really unchanged 109.80 it's in a 40 pip range if we look at the australian dollar it's been sluggish around this range as well the canadian dollar did bounce but that was it we didn't get much more than that okay so really the Forex symbols are unchanged, so I will be looking for the GBP to give us that indication whether or not it's going to go higher or not. Now, looking at commodities also, really unchanged. And, you know, this is just consolidation. The market is coming out with consumer confidence number tomorrow, so that's an important element that may surprise us. Okay, we are kind of shifting in this area. CPI number coming out yesterday, no surprises. Everything is stable. So we're not in a, a particular environment that the markets are going to necessarily go higher, but not necessarily are we going to go lower either. So keep that in mind. Now looking at crude oil also at $73, just a gain of a dollar. But again, not doing much and not breaking out of this range. Now, jumping into the U.S. markets, the Dow Jones, also unchanged 33,467 if we look at the nasdaq though this becomes a little bit interesting because look we ended up the day higher and we're breaking out of that 13,300 ish resistance okay we've had this resistance several times i'm going to highlight it just now boom 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 but this is what i'm interested in okay this becomes interesting because now it's breaking out now it's breaking out with the stocks okay specifically let's just jump into it google breaking out higher now google is a fang stock remember that so this is really very important if google breaks out we want to know about it because it's going to move the markets higher as well now it's not all the tech stocks that went higher because if we look at microsoft did rebound a little bit yesterday but didn't break out higher higher okay 312 is a nice recovery from its 306 low earlier in the week right and if we look at facebook also a little bit of a recovery 233 but really unchanged so the markets are taking rotation right now but the rotation has to follow through meaning google could go one day but then i need facebook or apple or amazon to go another day now amazon also gained yesterday if we look at it back to its highs but like to see it break out higher okay so maybe amazon's going to be the one that's going to carry the football to the end zone today and that's going to be something to look forward to looking at bitcoin if we look at a one hour chart we tested yesterday this low of 27,300, and we breached it we came back but we breached it so keep that in mind that this is really testing its support and if it does hold it, we'll bounce off of it. 
that's for sure. But if it doesn't, we're going to break out lower. Okay, maybe back to the 25,000-ish level. Okay, so Bitcoin, remember, is quite volatile. So do pay attention and respect it by putting in stop losses. This is Fed Act, on which you guys a great trading day. Thank you.